Hello, and welcome to the Travis Picnier Wellway. I'm Chris. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to make your own DCC local net cables. Um, this will be first part in maybe one of my new series of building some uh, quick little five minute videos on how to's. Uh, not necessarily focusing on the build of the railway. I'll have some longer videos on that. Uh, please click like and subscribe. Um, gives you a notification when I come out with new content. And I'd love to hear your feedback down below. Um, if you're interested in me maybe doing a live stream, uh, maybe doing a, kind of a long three, four hour build or something where you can join in and watch out. Um, anyway, on to making my own DCC local net cables. All right, welcome back. So, first things, the supplies that we need. I'm gonna start with a tool first. Need a uh, wire crimper. This does a six and eight pin, uh, which is denoted by the six and the eight P on the uh, on the wire crimper. Um, basically this crimper uh, crimps on the ends for both network and telephone style connectors. I'm going to focus on the telephone style, which are usually known as RJ11, at least in North America. Um, but there is also an RJ12. And the difference between those two is the number of pins. So if you look at one of the pins, see if I can get this to focus. You see that this one has six pins on it. That's an RJ12. The RJ11 only has four pins. The outer two pins actually are missing. So Loconet requires all six pins, which means you need to find RJ12 connectors. Fortunately, uh, my local um, hardware improvement store um, had one. In this case, it was Home Depot. Had a box of 25, I think they're about $10 each. Not exactly cheap. You can find them cheaper on Amazon. Um, or eBay. Next is going to be the wire. So this is just um, telephone wire and if you can see there are six connectors as it's shown on here 6P, 6C. And this is basically, uh, I guess, Cat 3 uh, cabling um, that, that you want. So in this case, my Cat 3 is just flat. It makes it super easy to uh, put on a telephone cable. Uh, makes it a little harder to run a little bit, but um, show you what to do. So first of all, what I like to do, I've got some little nicks and knacks on the end of this. It's not very nice. So what I'm going to do is just use my uh, cutter here, find the cutter side, and just cut off a little section. It's easy enough. Okay, so what we want to do is take the uh, cutters, and if you notice, there's two blades on this side that kind of come together, and one on this side. So one cuts and the other strips. Now what you can do if you like, if you put your, I'm trying to get a good angle on this. If you put your cable through here all the way to the end, you can just crimp down and pull and you get a nice stripped cut wire very easy now here's the rule um, if I look at my cable that came with uh, my loco net all right here's my loco net cable now if you notice on the pin side it's kind of hard to see but down here on this this side on the right side if you're facing the pins there's a blue wire and if you look at the top side over here there's a white wire. Now, technically, all that matters when you connect these wires together 
is that the pins on both sides when you're facing them are the same. All right, so all that really matters on, on these is that the pins match up. So you've got white over here and white over here. Blue on this side, blue on this side. You just want straight through. Um, this is just the, a loop of cable here. Um, and you just want straight through. So when we're doing our, our wiring, it's best to actually try to match it up. So you've got the blue and the um, colors lined up and just match an existing one. With these uh, flat cables, it's super easy. You just put the end on. Now it's not perfect because ideally you don't have a bunch of uh, space on here. You, you don't want to necessarily crimp the wire. So my crimper here actually cuts a little bit too much length. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut it in half approximately. Okay, so now you can see I've cut off quite a bit of it. And now I can just slip this on and just slides into place. And when you're looking at the crimper, there's a little bar that comes in. That bar needs to be at the back. So we'll slide that in and you just squeeze it together. And there's your first crimped. And there's your first uh, crimped cable. So just do that on the other end. It's exact same thing, same colors, and you've made yourself your first DCC loco nut cable, and you can make it a custom length. All right, that's uh, about it for this uh, episode. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully that helped, and hopefully uh, I showed you how to make some loco nut cables. Obviously, you don't have to buy a big spool of cable like I did of Cat 3. I think I bought like a 500 or a thousand feet or something ridiculous. Obviously way too much than what I needed, but I like to be prepared and don't like to run out and have to put things on hold while I have to go find supplies. Anyway, until next time, have a great day.